fabulous Orchid ASMR. <laughs> the sounds that I have when I prepare for a video. Welcome, it's good to have you here. I'm not expecting anything untoward with these repots. Mainly, it's just an eyesore. I've got two Epidendrum hybrids here that, well, their pots are broken. And I have several more orchids with broken pots that I would like to deal with this season before the winter comes. So the purpose of this video is just to upgrade the pots, take them out of these pots, clean up any of the fern roots that I can, <laughs> do some weeding, but also to get them into unbroken pots. This is Epidendrum Embrae crossed with Capricorn Nu, and this is Epidendrum Pseudo Epidendrum crossed with Melanoporphium. This one has never ever bloomed for me. It's a bummer. So what we're going to do is start with this one first and see how things are looking in the pot. Now it already has a nice new growth coming right here. None of them have any active root growth that I can see. Both of them have been set back for many years because they were very weak plants when they arrived. And then of course, me, myself and I and some pests, we didn't get along. So there was a little bit of pest treatment that was a little excessive. Now that they are pest free, they seem to slowly be starting to grow. We're also going to change this old OG support. We do have some active root growth in the pot. Yes, we do. We have a lovely root tip right there. Now, if that's the only one, we got to be super duper careful with it and not ruin it. <laughs> and a lot of fern roots to get rid of. Woohoo! She looks better in the pot than she does outside of the pot. That's for sure. That's great news, though. If I had had more time back in the day when my collection was arriving and I was getting everything settled in and repotted, if I had had more time back then, I probably would have addressed this orchid in a sense of she would not be with the collection anymore because she looked dead for the longest time. I got her in 2018. Both of them, as a matter of fact, I got both in 2018 in a very dubious shipment that did not impress me much. Let's try and be a little bit more diligent. You know, when you go into a project and you think, oh, this is going to go quick, and then it doesn't, your brain hasn't caught up to the fact yet that it's not going quick, and it won't be quick. Not a slowdown, but it's wonderful that you've taken time out of your day and chosen to spend some time with me on the east side of the patio. See what we're up against. Do a little repotting. The orchid roots are great. They're looking awesome. Whatever is tangled up in my little support here. It's just going to be sacrificed. I'm not going to be picky about that. Yes, we have active root growth. That's awesome. I would like to make an official apology to this orchid. <laughs> Thinking that I had thoughts of binning her and only time stopped me from doing it or the lack thereof. We're also going to reposition them. These roots aren't that stiff. I can get in and manipulate them a little bit to get this orchid into the center of the pot. Oh, I'm very pleased with this. Got one very loose growth right here. There we go. If you want to go, I'm not holding you back. We'll go on to the next one. Let's see what Embre has to offer us. There is a new growth coming. And roots should follow shortly after that. Looking okay in here. Seems like the pseudoepidendrum is now taking over when it comes to how active the root system is. Embre, a little bit shy behind. Embre has bloomed for me two years ago. She skipped last season, which was kind of surprising because... She was also in that weird shipment, but she came out of her funk much, much quicker. So I am kind of surprised that she didn't bloom for us during late winter, early spring is normally when she blooms. I would say her blooms are nothing really spectacular. They're pretty and long lasting. And the spike is like a sequential spike. So the blooms start to bloom and then they continue to bloom. Let's get rid of some of that moss. So she, you know, she has her place in my collection. You can see that it's no wonder I thought that these orchids were dead for the longest time. But she's growing this beautiful new growth. This one started last year. 
It's still growing, and now we have the next one on the way. There's potential, there's hope, and I would say it is quite the result to have gotten them through. Proud of them. Well done. They don't really look like much, but they're huge to me. <laughs> So if you're having questions in your mind with regards to am I concerned about one of them not having active roots and not knowing about it and going in anyway, no, absolutely not. Once epidendrums start growing, they come out of their funk, they may look a little bit weird, but they are tough cookies. So I just have to go for it. I've got a lot more to do before the season ends and now is the right time for them. The temperatures are right. The humidity is exceptional. So it's go time. Shiny new pot. That's how we like it here. Let's get this orchid into the middle. Now I'm going from back to front. This is still the embrane. Let's see how the support will go into the middle as well. So much better. It's such an eyesore to see broken pots, even though it's just the rim. But to me, it's oh, it's an eyesore. So I'm glad I'm getting these two done. And then I work my way through to the others. Very low in the pot, you say? Yes, but intentional. I do not want to have any kind of dry top layer at the moment, even though I have high humidity now. That doesn't mean that there won't be any kind of drop in humidity. And I would prefer nothing to dry out while new roots grow. I'm leaving my options open to see how the roots will progress from this growth right here. As they go down into the media, I can always fill up with Lekka and you can see she has a very, very minuscule, not much, it's not really evident, but she has a very tiny little inclination to be a climber. So if she keeps on with that trend, then I can just keep filling up with Lekka, not having to do anything else, any readjustments for the next, let's just say for this one, I'm anticipating, should nothing go wrong, that I don't have to intervene prematurely at least three years, if not four. You can see that the root system is very fine. There's a lot of space in the pot and it's not as vigorous as the next one we're going to address. Shiny new pot numero deux. I like the look of this. And then we have a support that is geared for being on the outside of the pot. I don't want that. I want this orchid to be in the middle. So all I'm going to do is just twist it <laughs> small enough so that it can fit into the middle. A little bit more. Comme ça. And because the root system is the way it is, I'm going to feed the orchid from the top down into the pot. Making sure that my little spaghetti noodles down there stay <laughs> in the circular motion that they are accustomed to. I don't want to tease them in a different direction. There we go. Now we're in business. Okay, and because these stems are so long, we are going to do something with getting them secured to the base. And then we're going to tie them up when the base clearly needs to be encouraged. Voila. Correction. Voila. <laughs> I brought that leaning cane in as well. That's better. This is more representative of what I like my visuals to look like. Oh, goodness me. And I hope that they will rummage around in their new location, get their tootsies all accustomed in their shiny, unbroken pots. Not much drama here today. These are the things that I have to do. I thought I might as well film it. Let me know in the comments if you would like to see all the other repots, where the pots are broken, and whatever I discover, I can talk about it. <laughs> I leave that entirely up to you. There's another thing I would like to leave up to you because I can't do it. Would you please like the video and subscribe if you haven't subscribed to my channel? One thing I can do here at my end is to say thank you for your company on the east side of the patio today. It was wonderful to have you. Thank you for watching. Have yourself a fabulous day, but do remember that condition that you stay safe. Take care. Bye.